Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Chaos here, and I'm back again with another scripting tutorial. This is gonna be uh, a update, updated video to, uh, you know, the video I made a few months back showing how uh, to make a GUI pop up when a player touches uh, an object in the workspace. I have everything set up here. I have a script inside of a part inside of the uh, workspace. I have a remote event inside of replicated storage, and then I have my GUI with a local script inside of it. So, inside the local script, I'm going to first go ahead and grab the uh, replicated storage. Uh, so, local replicated storage equals game calling to service replicated storage. And then we'll do local remote event equals uh, replicated storage calling with child. RE, which is the, what I named the remote event for this video. And we'll do local frame equals script the parent. And then local close button equals frame dot close button. And then local is open equals false. And there we go. So basically, um, we can now go over to the server. I'm going to go ahead and copy the remote event code here and just paste it at the top. And we'll do local GUI toggle part equals script dot parent. And then GUI toggle part dot uh, touch colon connect function. And we'll do uh, as a variable for the function, we'll do uh, touched object. And basically, uh, this would be like the foot or, uh, of the player's character or something, something that a part inside of the player, uh, any, any part that touches it. But we're going to uh, uh, check to make sure it's a player down here. So we're going to do local player equals game the players colon get player from character and we'll do touched object dot parent so if it was the foot if it was a player's foot then um this would find a, pl uh, a player because um the parent of the object would be a model which will have a humanoid in it so uh so we're gonna go if player then uh, remote event colon fire client and we'll do player all right so now that this uh, server script is done this fires off to the client which will then need to make a function that looks for uh, the event uh, the fired event so we'll do uh, remote event dot on client event colon connect function and so in here we're going to check if not is open then um, we're going to do is open equals true and we'll do uh, frame colon tween position item to dot new 0 0.5 0 0 0.5 0 we're gonna do out and do sign and we're gonna do 0 0.2 and true and we could basically just copy the code inside here and do close button dot mouse button one click colon connect function and paste this code and instead of checking if it's false then we'll check if it's true we'll set is open to false and I'll set this just to 1.5 so basically uh, let me just run through this real quick um, this server script will look for, uh, it will wait until a part touches the toggle part, 
and fire off this function, which then checks if the object is um, is a player. So if the uh, the parents, uh, if the object's parent is a uh, player's character, then you know, then it will continue on to uh, fire the remote event to the client. On the client, when it picks up this event, it will check if is open is false, and set is open to true, and open up the GUI. If a player clicks the close button, then it will uh, check if open is set to true and set it back to false, and close the GUI. So let me test this for you guys real quick. So if I walk over to this part, GUI pops up, and I close it, and because I'm still on this part, and I try to walk away, it will open up again because I'm still touching the part. But yeah. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, or have a video idea I could do in the future, I feel free to leave me out in the comments. I'm going to try and get more videos out, and I want to try and upload videos I haven't done before. So I want to and I also want to make videos on topics that you guys want to see. So, um, yeah, leave your uh, suggestions and your uh, questions down below in the comments. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.